What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my, one of my older dropshipping stores that actually isn't live right now, but I can actually um, kind of show you guys like the, the social aspect of it and kind of walk you guys through why I think content is so vital in the dropshipping game. And hopefully show you guys like, okay, this is the reason, you know, why our flow and my, my like process, at least for drawing traffic from Instagram, worked really, really, really well, okay? So we're gonna hop into a screen share. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, the um, social and then social blade, um, so you guys can kind of see like the growth and whatever um, that is. Because this one, I'll show you guys, like I'll tell you guys how we growed our social pages with no automation, none of that, um, and then you know the the content and how it kind of played a role in you know getting getting these conversions and doing thirty thousand a month right off the bat. Okay, all right, guys. So we are on Instagram.com. I want to do a little quick explain for you guys. So first of all, with with Instagram, guys, I strongly advocate for you know getting your own content getting your own pictures and whatnot now right off the bat these first photos that you're seeing right now they were not taken by me i sold this site all right um i think it was a few months after um after we launched it just because i was on the other sites okay and then I'll, I'll hopefully show you guys you know okay this is the content these guys tried to do um they eventually ran the store like into the ground because they didn't really know what they were doing but then hopefully guys you guys can see you guys should be able to see you know the difference in the content and all that kind of stuff so you guys can actually see like okay this is what happened and then you know this is why content is so important but first of all guys so my first store was called the nugget all right our instagram is called the nugget shop and basically the theme of it was basically like we we kind of brand ourselves as like customers would go to our website they would go to the gold mine right a gold mine of you know affordable luxury goods which is something you know we stated or like an outlet for unique luxury brand like whatever it was right because again we we basically brand ourselves as like curators of it so we didn't say we made the products we didn't say these products were ours none of that stuff okay we said we basically gave customers products we thought they'd be interested in like we we curated them for them okay so that was one angle we took right for one of our stores and then as you guys can see there's a little call to action TN10 for 10% off, all right? It's just something little there. And then this is, this code was always different than any other code, guys. Because again, with these different codes, if people use them, you can kind of see what they, like, where they came from, what they use. So if you're using influencer for shout outs, have different codes for different influencers, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, and then basically, the, all these nine, one, two, three, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, we sold the site right, up, right around here, okay, where, where I'm flashing the images, okay? Now, hopefully you guys can see, like, up here, the pictures got kind of ass. But if you guys, if you scroll down just a bit, right, this, this is the content that I was posting, okay? Images like this, all right? Or like this, all right? Like, we, I, I like, lived for content, okay? So, like, all this kind of stuff, okay? I would literally, I hit up guys, I hit up girls, anyone, I'd be like, hey, you want to, like, go on a photo shoot and get some photos of yourself and help me out and get some photos of the product, right? Um, so this is what we did. Um, this was testing a giveaway right here. Okay, it was like kind of like a, a cross brand type stuff. But like again, guys, like we just stressed content, 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 and having your own unique content, right? Because again, we were affordable, right? A lot of our products on our site, we didn't sell anything over hundred dollars ever. Most of our products were around, I'd say, fifteen to thirty-five, forty. Okay, so that's where, I, like, that was right where we were around for this site. And if you just look at our branding, though, like it looks clean. It looks good. All right, like you wouldn't think like this case right here, right? It it looks like a really good case, but we sold it really cheap, right? It was affordable for people, but it looked luxury. So we were talking about affordable luxury goods. Like it looked like affordable luxury goods, right? And this is why like having, you know, good content is so key. And if you notice now, we aren't posting product pictures like every single time. We're kind of posting, you know, things related to it, like lifestyle stuff. Because you guys, especially with fashion, you're selling like a lifestyle, right? People want to wear clothes to feel something. They want to wear clothes to, to feel good around other people, to, you know, they wear shades to look good at the beach. I don't know, something like that, right? You're, you're trying to procure an emotion from someone with these images, with visuals, right? The, the whole point of selling someone is like, when someone buys something, they felt trust towards you. They felt some sort of emotion towards you, your product, your brand, where they gave you their credit card and then they, they, they purchased something from you because they trusted you or they felt something, right? So that's the whole point of these visuals is to make them feel something, make them, you know, like, make them relate to a lifestyle, a feeling, um, anything like that, guys. And this was like what we did, like we just posted, you know, really quality content, like a lot of this stuff, guys, it's, it's really hard to take images like this if you, you know, haven't, if, if you're like just buying a camera or like using an iPhone, you can't really do that with this stuff. But again, it's like the way we just branded things, all right? So that's that. And then this is the, um, the social blade for the site. Guys, as you can see now, <laughs> losing, like we don't use the account anymore. But you guys can see, so I started this way back in July of 2016. So again, guys, this is what, like one of my oldest stores. And as you guys can see, we basically got up to 30K followers in a pretty quick span of time because it was just all organic. 
The only things we did that were kind of off like content wise were giveaways, right? You saw the giveaway post on the Instagram feed. Like that's what kind of helped us grow really quick. But then what also helped us grow is whenever we buy shout outs from influencers, we'd say, hey, uh, we'll buy the shout out. Can you go like, you know, our top nine photos or whatever? Like, can you just go like a bunch of our photos, right? And usually they don't care about doing that because it doesn't cost them anything. It doesn't really take up too much of their time. So they usually are fine with that because you're giving them money anyways for the shout out, which again, doesn't cost them actually anything except their time, okay? Which is usually really quick or they have like a VA posting for them, okay? So that's that guys. And literally I hope like, this is why I preach content guys is because as you can see, like our content, like we looked like our own brand essentially, right? So like we looked really good. And with this stuff is like, we were promoting it as like, hey, we got these products for you. We curated these products for you from you know, around the world, whatever it was, right? And then we kind of sold them on that. Now I can't show you guys the site just cause the site's down. Uh, like it, it's gone, like it's not there. I would show you guys if it was live. Oh my God, I'll even click the website guys. Like nothing, nothing pops up. Like it's just nothing. I just want to show you guys like basically this is what we sold, right? I was again, I was starting in the fashion industry. I still remain relatively in the fashion industry and then a little else, you know, a little bit elsewhere. This was one of my very first stores, all right? And that's the power of content, guys. This shop was doing 30,000 a month, okay? We had 358 posts over the span of, I don't know, four months, five months. Okay, so we, we were posting twice a day usually, which I think was what we were aiming for. And it was like one product post, one lifestyle post. Okay, that's kind of what we went back. And then every once in a while, a giveaway or something like that. Or we repost a customer's photo that they took for or something like that, right? And that's just how, like, again, I use zero paid ads at this point in time. Like, I sucked at paid, like, Facebook ads, anything like that. So I really, like, I was just dabbling in that. And this time, I didn't actually use any for this website. Guys, this was all organic Instagram traffic. 30,000 a month, okay? That was the baseline. I think this one ended up doing, I don't know, like over 100,000 total over the period of everything, but I just wanna give you a little insight. Like this is kind of one of my very first stores and this is just the power of good content, right? The logo is nothing fancy. I really went in Photoshop, made a gray circle, put an N, right, for the nugget, and then put a little white thing to make it look like it was a shiny round ball or something. But again, guys, it's just, like content, having unique quality content, guys, is so powerful and most people don't realize that. Most people just brush it off, they're like, okay, whatever, I'll just go to snap an iPhone picture. Or like, oh, it's fine, I'll just repost these pictures, it's okay. Like, it's okay in the sense that you can get sales, but you can get a lot more and a lot more trust, a lot more loyalty, a lot more branding around your companies if you go the slightly more effort route in taking your own photos, guys, all right? So that's the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like, comment, I respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys, join the family. We're doing basically a video a day. Um, and I don't know, I, I hope you guys are enjoying the content, guys. Be sure to check out the mastery course, link is in the description. I think I am going to stop selling the course um, literally within a week, because I have more important things to uh, focus on and actually like provide to you guys. Uh, so that actually I might make a whole video on that later But if you guys are interested stuff is down below the free mini courses are also down below guys check them out They're there literally just to help you. So I hope you guys enjoy the video I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. Thanks for watching guys Be sure to subscribe like and comment check out the ecom hub my personal platform Which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course the free PDFs and mini courses And last but not least don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates giveaways and literally everything that's cool it's all night. Don't give me too be easy, I like a little challenge When it feels better, when you take a little damage Slow, learn it fast, earn it, stay, burn it, wheels, turn it, it's